Today's CSIS Schieffer School Series took on the implications of the uprising in Egypt. I'm here now with one of our panelists, Nancy Youssef, from McClatchy's Washington Bureau, their Pentagon correspondent. Nancy, I know this is a very personal issue for you. You have family in the region, and you're, you're talking to them daily. What are their biggest concerns right now? Really what comes next, because for so many they've been able to survive, although maybe not thrive under the system, but certainly survive. And every day they don't know where the protesters are going to come out from, how many they're going to be, and what it means for them economically in terms of their jobs, in terms of being able to get to work, get food, get money, all those things. And then on a broader scale, what happens if Mubarak leaves? Who will come in next and what will Egypt look like? So they're they're just they're living day by day wondering what next and on every on every sense and with our panelists today with several different points of view you all discussed what could be next a couple of different scenarios that could play out could you tell us about some of those yeah some think that Ahmed Suleiman who was just named vice president will take over and sort of lead the transition towards an election um, some of the more radical ideas is some sort of coup that could be led by someone in um, in the army and others think that maybe Mubarak will be able to hold on that he'll be able to craft this successfully as a as a challenge between civility and chaos he representing civility and the protesters representing chaos such that people will say we want him to say through September when we can have elections. Now the speed with which we've seen things take off over there, first Tunisia and now Egypt, do you see this having some sort of domino effect on the region? I think it'll touch every country in some way because it's been so revolutionary in terms of the impact it's had and how quickly it's happened. And But each country will have uh, a different um, take on it or a different, it'll reach them in different ways. In some countries it'll lead to big protests. We've already seen this in Yemen and calls for it in, in places like uh, Syria. And in other places it'll lead to reforms that people have been asking for for a long time. Uh, we noticed, for example, in Jordan, King Abdullah this week named a new prime minister and that was really in response to something that, that people have been calling for for a long time. The feeling was that the outgoing prime minister was corrupt. And so I think it's going to touch every country, but how big the, the the, the impact will be will vary greatly. Thank you very much, Nancy. You can see the full video of tonight's CSIS Schieffer series on CSIS.org.